how to create an evergreen webinar with Kajabi. This is gonna be the topic of this video, whether you call it an evergreen webinar, an automated webinar, a free training, a recorded lesson. This is how you can actually put that together in Kajabi. If it's something that you want to give to your audience in exchange for their email, like behind a form, an embedded form, I'm just gonna show you how to do that step by step in this video. I'm gonna dive straight on over into my Kajabi account. So here I am inside of Kajabi and a quick preface about this video. If you haven't already set up your website and landing pages, I would recommend you go and do that now. You can watch one of my previous videos that actually walks and talks you through how to set up your website and landing pages. They are slightly different. And from here, I would actually expect you to have set up a an opt-in page so a landing page with a form embedded i'm not going to cover that in this video i have done another video to actually show you how to create a landing page from scratch with an embedded form and i'm going to take you from after those two videos you should be arriving here and i'm going to show you actually how to host a, a recording of a lesson or a webinar that you've done or a free web class it doesn't matter what you call it it's just some form of training that you offer to your customers in exchange for an email. So I'm gonna show you how to build out that page today. So here I am inside of my website and just click on to pages and then landing pages. And I'm gonna start from fresh. I'm gonna show you a new landing page and I'm just gonna start from a blank page. I'm gonna say get started. And then this is gonna be webinar, um, evergreen webinar. It, it, it truly doesn't matter what you call this. So. The term webinar has been overused. Some people, um, some business owners like to use the term workshop, masterclass, free training, web class, something that actually doesn't scream webinar and doesn't scream salesy. But the whole idea of to try and create an evergreen or an automated webinar is so you're not having to launch all the time and you can actually get people to land on your page, opt in for a free training and watch your training. And the main aim of your training, if you haven't tweaked this yet, is to provide value, is to actually teach something, not just teaching the what, but also teaching the how. So they attend your class and they go away with some valuable information. They can actually implement something after they've watched your class. So teach the how, a lot of people don't do that. They just teach the what and sell the how. But if you give them some sort of value and then that's the first half of your training. The second half needs to be positioning something. If they want to go deeper with you, either a coaching program, a membership or a course, so they can actually get even better or even quicker results using or following your unique methodology. So for this landing page, then just remember the, the actual flow. So somebody's landed on your homepage they've, or they've landed on an opt-in page. So that landing page video that I did, make sure you've watched that. So you can actually embed the form and deliver the thing if you're actually giving a free guide. But the next page that they should see, just remember, should be this page. So all you want to do here is the main thing here is, is get rid of this image. You don't want an image. You actually just want to, uh, you've got some text, add content. You just want to add in a video. So it's going to be um, a video. You don't really want to embed it. So upload a video. Uh, and I'd probably put this title to be something like 10 wide, uh, the video maybe like eight. And then underneath the video, again, keeping this stupidly simple is having a an opt-in button. So a call to action. So here it is, call to action. And then make sure if this is kicking off to the left-hand side or to the right-hand side, make sure on desktop layout, you place it on its own row. Uh, for me, I would probably make this call to action. I'd probably put this in my brand colors. So um, a bit more of a lighter blue call to action. I would then have this call to action to go through to, it all depends what you're offering. If it's a coaching program or a course, go through to the sales page of that coaching program or course. Um, so I would probably put landing page. I would put I would put coach for me. I put a coaching page. So that would go straight through. I'd probably make this a little bit larger as well. Um, so for me, this training would be something like, um, so if I if I was to go um, get faster results using my method, and then you could put whatever your method is. Um, but 
this again needs to be preceded by uh, an opt-in page so the opt-in page must tell them about exactly what they're going to get if they opt in because they're giving you their email that is the currency these days their email somebody's giving you their email you opt in the next page they see is something like this so get faster results using my method create your training create your training using google slides or anything like that create your full training and record it once you've created your training and you're happy with it you can simply upload it here and then you can put some branding on it so this is by essence this is all this page has to be this page has to have a, a header uh, the actual main deliverability so the training you teaching something then you offering something in that training to say hey if you want if you want to learn more from me uh, click the button below and I would probably actually say um, you would you would change the text on this so not, not leaving it as call to action so something like click the learn more button and then make sure that button then links up to um, the landing page of whatever program that you're offering so my coaching that will click straight through to my coaching and then preview make sure you're happy with it uh, let's click save first before you preview so remember to click save and then click preview so this would just update member to have your your branding on there as well so go through I'm just teaching you the the functionality of this page uh, and then if you have your branding on it and then put your thumbnail on here again I've done another video on actually how to create certain types of thumbnails I've probably watched that one as well but have your thumbnail on here and then call them to action by watching this video teach something and then offer them something so the the teach and then the pitch that's the the classic webinar uh, formula and and I would say go for half an hour go for 40 minutes in this training in this recorded training once you've done this then upload it to this page and that is all you have to do because you've got their email all you're doing is funneling, funneling them through to the next page when they click learn more this is straight onto my coaching page so that's pretty much it but in terms of the webinar itself make sure that you know exactly what you're pitching and you know exactly what you want them to do next so that's pretty much how to do an evergreen webinar an automatic webinar you can use some tools like deadline funnels that create some type of scarcity in my book I would call that false scarcity if this is the first time you're doing a webinar I probably wouldn't recommend to do it evergreen I would do a live webinar using zoom webinar or something like that so you actually teach live and you get really hot feedback from people on the call they're asking questions and you'll know then if your webinar your masterclass your free training actually hits the point and actually delivers value and people want more from you so this is a great way of creating an evergreen webinar but don't do this first I would say launch it live launch it a, a few times live as many times live as possible really because you're going to get the best feedback and then actually transition from a live training or masterclass or webinar into an evergreen or automated one using this and I would simply leave it on demand like this rather than signing up for a deadline funnel or a false scarcity funnel so there we have it those are the typical building blocks to actually create a evergreen funnel using kajabi or an automated funnel using kajabi i am a kajabi partner i know and love this platform like the back of my hand and i can get you if you want to test out this platform i can get you an extended 30-day free trial head on over to timpeatman.com forward slash kajabi and if you do use my link to actually sign up for their extended 30-day free trial I'm going to grant you a course Kajabi Unboxed I've put together this course to actually teach you how to set up your Kajabi account correctly in order to scale and full disclosure this is an affiliate link so if you do end up becoming a paying member of Kajabi and subscribe to it like I do part of your payment will come back to me in support of this channel at no extra cost to you but as a second thank you if you do become a paying member of Kajabi I'm going to grant you access to something else is what I call my sales page templates I've created templates like this for my business all you need to do is reach out to me email me and I'll forward you a template theme that you can literally upload into your Kajabi and start working with it right away it's a super neat function that Kajabi offer I download it from the course and then upload it into your products so hopefully that video helps along with the other videos so you can actually set up your evergreen webinar using Kajabi and once again, I look forward to seeing you again on another video real soon.